Hello guys, how's it going? Today's topic is about how you can apply Newton's laws of motion to a flight. Those of you who know Newton's laws of motion can directly skip the time for a period. Okay, now let's start with the first law of motion, which is law of inertia. It simply states body at rest does not move unless force is applied to it. And if the body is already in motion, force must be applied to change its state of motion. Now Newton's second law defines the force. It states that if the force is applied to any body in motion, the change in motion will be proportional to the mass of that body and the acceleration the body gain. Newton's third law of motion is law of action and reaction. You all know it, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Now we know Newton's law of motion. Now let's start with the law of inertia. When aircraft is flying, we can say that it is in motion. So it will continue that motion with the same speed in the same direction unless it is acted upon the external forces like drag. So if we are able to eliminate the drag, we can continue this motion, right? And that's how flight works on law of inertia. The point to be noted here is drag is not the only external force that is acting on the aircraft. There are so many forces which we will talk in the next class. Stay tuned. So there you have it. First law applied to the flight. Now let's move on to the second law. Let's consider the external force drag for a little bit more. Now how, why, why are we considering this drag? We are considering the drag because it is eliminated by a force which is called as thrust. And the amount of thrust force we produce is based on the second law of motion. That's why we are considering the drag. So uh, how do we do it? Do you remember the second law of motion? What is it? Force is equal to mass into acceleration, right? And how is thrust produced? Thrust is produced by forcing the fluid through a nozzle, right? So the mass here is the fluid and, and the fluid which is accelerated through the nozzle is proportional to that force. So there you have it, second law applied to the flight as well. Now for third law of motion, how do we apply it to a flight? It's very simple. How do we produce the thrust? By forcing the fluid in the back direction, right? And what are we getting from it? The thrust in the forward direction, right? And what is Newton's third law? Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So that's what is happening here. We are applying the force in the backward direction and getting the reaction in this forward direction. And that's how we apply third law of motion to the flight. Now one thing to remember here is thrust is not a direct force, it's the reaction to the force. Alright, that's it. And that's how we apply Newton's laws of motion to the flight. Next we are going to talk about the forces acting on an aircraft. As always, let your dreams take flight, stay happy and healthy. Thank you.